Andy Dillard once said, how we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. Now, if that's true, and I believe it is, we need to be intentional about how we start and end our days. Now, you may be asking, why does this matter in PKM? How we end our day will impact how we start our day. And how we start our day will impact our ability to notice and capture and also connect ideas and thoughts. So how should we start and end our day? Let's take a look at some advice from the essayist and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. Check it out. He says, finish every day and be done with it. You have done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is a new day and you shall begin it well and serenely and with too high a spirit to be cumbered with your old nonsense. Now we could breeze past these words and think, that's interesting, that's cool, but that would be a missed opportunity here. I want you to walk away today feeling inspired and encouraged uh, to master the start and end of your day so that you are ready for idea collection and idea connection. Now he kicks off this quote with finish every day and be done with it. To finish is to bring something to an end, to stop, to conclude, to cease. I mean, to not finish our day is going against how our, our days are naturally designed, right? I mean, at midnight, a new day is here. We can't stop it. The hours don't roll over. We can't ask for another five minutes. It can be easy to allow our days to blur together if we don't have boundaries. Now, if you struggle with not allowing your days to end, uh, there's some good news. The next few lines of this quote gives us a hint at how we can end our days. This is what he says. He says, you've done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them, Forget them as soon as you can. Now, what does this mean? For me, it means to recognize you've done your best with what happened that day, okay? Sure, some, some things didn't go as planned. The project that you were working on, you feel like you probably took a few steps backwards, right? Um, but with everything that's happened, you did what you could. Celebrate that and write it down. Write down what you accomplished and also write down what you didn't accomplish, what got in the way, what didn't work, right? If, if you don't write the things down at the end of the day, your mind will continue working on them and continue dwelling and thinking about them, not leaving space for something new. Like David Allen says, your brain is for having ideas, not holding them. This is part of forgetting about them. He says, forget, forget them as soon as you can. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it become the stumbling block for you to not continue on. I really like what Austin Kleon says in the book, Keep Going. He says, every day is like a blank page. When you're finished filing it, you can save it, you can crumple it up, or you can slide it into the recycle bin and let it be. Only time will tell you what it was worth. We're gonna continue on here with how to start your day in just a moment, but I wanted to let you know about a free guide that I have on how to take book notes. This is a short PDF guide. This is gonna teach you how to get insights from the books that you absolutely love into your personal knowledge management system. And so by the end of the guide, you'll have a simple system for highlighting books and then a mindful approach for adding content to your second brain, a process for creating building blocks of knowledge, and finally, a simple tip for making more connections inside of your second brain or personal knowledge management system. The link to that free guide is in the description below if you wanna check it out. Inside of the quote here, Emerson, he, he transitions with a, a valuable truth that I often forget, and that is tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day a blank canvas, a new whiteboard, an opportunity to start from scratch. That's good news right there. Now, how should you begin it? He says it right here. You should begin well and serenely. 
your day should should be bathed first in, in a peaceful atmosphere with an unclouded and untroubled mind. That's the untroubled mind and the unclouded mind is what's the mind that's going to notice the ideas that are floating around waiting for you to capture them. And I'm not just talking about ideas that are inside of the books and articles that you read, but ideas while you're on your walk, while you're you know, playing with your kids, the ideas that you, you may miss if you are bogged down with yesterday or worried about tomorrow. So the best method of creating an atmosphere of peace is disconnection. What do I mean? Disconnection from the world. Austin Kleon says creativity is as much about connection as it is about disconnection. Here are some few things that I do personally to uh, begin my day serenely. Uh, number one, I journal. I journal my thoughts. I sometimes will answer questions, like just simple questions like what I did yesterday, how I saw God yesterday, how he showed up for me. I'll also write down things like what lit me up, what, what did I really enjoy. Um, I like to keep track of those things because, you know, those are things that uh, I'm uniquely uh, just gifted at or just really enjoy. And so I want to continue to double down on those things. Anyways, I journal my thoughts and then I read a book that challenges or inspires me. And then I will write. I like to write because writing is thinking. And as I am jotting down whatever it is that I'm working on. Maybe it's a script for a YouTube video or I'm writing down something that I was learning about in a book. Either way, whenever I write, I gain clarity in my thinking. So I like to write. And then the other thing is I love to take walks outside in nature, just outside my neighborhood. There's a trail behind my house that kind of goes around the neighborhood. So I'll take a walk for about 45 minutes and that is one of my most favorite moments of the day. I find that uh, I, I actually find 100 times more interesting ideas when I'm outside. Um, and I don't listen to music. I rarely listen to music. I rarely listen to a podcast. I like to just have it just be me actually listening to nature and listening to the birds, listening to um, the trees and the wind blow through the trees. I think there's something that happens for me personally that allows me to notice more. So now the bottom line is we cannot capture what we're not noticing and we can't notice if we're not present. So how we start in our day is important. I hope this video encouraged you and I'd love to hear from you. What are some things that you do to create atmospheres of peace for you in the morning? Or what are some things that you want to try? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.